What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV for a very short video on Battlefield 5. I'd like to discuss the trailer, the entire reveal event, and some of the information that we were given there. Unfortunately, or perhaps fortunately, depending on your way of life, your viewpoint, the gameplay is Call of Duty World War 2. I was not the biggest fan of Battlefield 1 from the beta stages of that game, something felt incredibly off to me, and it turned me away from the Battlefield franchise for a time. I was a big fan of Battlefield 4, and I've always found that the Battlefield franchise thrives in the modern era. The huge maps, the multiple vehicle choices, all of the weaponry, everything just feels right when you're in a modern setting in Battlefield, at least as far as I'm concerned. So Battlefield Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, those are some of my more preferable Battlefield games, and Battlefield 1 just felt off. So I don't have Battlefield 1 gameplay for you. I don't have Battlefield 4 gameplay either, it's been quite some time from that game's release and I'm not even certain if it's in my collection at this point. So, Call of Duty World War 2 is somewhat related, it is a World War 2 game, and Battlefield 5 is returning to World War 2 for the first time in Battlefield's history since their original Battlefield 1942 which came out like 10 plus years ago. So. It's been quite some time since we've had a World War II style Battlefield game. They touched on Vietnam, they went to the future, they've done all kinds of different things, cops and robbers in Battlefield Hardline, but they're finally coming back to World War II. However, the setting and the overall historical accuracy of this multiplayer playground is debatable. It's something of a touchy subject among the Battlefield community right now. That trailer is getting a ton of downvotes because that trailer is featuring prominently female soldiers with body modifications, African American soldiers fighting alongside the Caucasians and the Asian soldiers, which of course never happened in the real world war. There were completely segregated African American platoons that they sent on suicide missions. So the very anal historically accurate fans of Battlefield are getting up in arms about this, but the Battlefield people the people at EA, at DICE, they've come up and they've said, you know what, this isn't a historically accurate game. When you're playing multiplayer, it's a believable, but what could have happened type of situation. These are their exact words. So long as the game and setting is somewhat believable, it's an alternate history version of World War II where the multiplayer is concerned. The single player war stories that will be returning are completely different. They are much more strictly enforced as a historically accurate experience, though they will be focusing on sort of stories that you might not have heard from World War II, focusing on platoons and countries that don't get a lot of the limelight when we're talking about that great war. So much of this SJW PC versus historically accurate controversy aside, I'm cautiously optimistic about Battlefield 5. I was not a fan of Battlefield 1 as we've already discussed. In such a historical setting, the game felt clunky for a modern shooter and so I hope that Battlefield 5 can bring us back to that core Battlefield 4 modern shooter feel in a historical game. I am tentative about that setting. Call of Duty World War II may have soured the World War II setting for a lot of players by releasing a year in advance, and Battlefield will have to find the space in between spaces there. I don't know if a lot of fans are going to be interested in returning to a World War II game for another year yet again in a row. This was the reason we moved into modern games in the past. Too much World War II, too much saturation. Battlefield 5 has a lot of good things going for it, including no loot boxes or premium pass, free DLC for all players, and so much more. Check out the reveal, I'll link it in the description down below. The reveal really didn't do too much for me, it was pretty short and they didn't reveal a lot of information, whereas they gave that information to YouTubers and other journalists that were on site in a longer 3 hour presentation. Kind of confusing, but... In general, I am looking forward to Battlefield 5, looking forward to learning more. So when we do learn more, maybe at E3 this year, I will let you guys know. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth. Until then, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next video.